Hello, hello. Test, test, test. Okay, it looks like we're live again. It says excellent connection. So I hope to God that means this is going to work. Uh, let me grab the link. Uh, there's got to be an easy way to grab the link to the stream, but I have not figured that out because I am incompetent. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, it shows up on the main page. Okay, it's actually that easy. Okay. Sharing the link. Link shared. Hey, guys. Uh, you may, some of you may have realized that this is not the first time I've tried doing a stream today. I tried to do this a few hours ago, and it failed miserably because of my internet. But it's a few hours later now. Uh, everyone else in my house has gone to sleep, I think. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. So no one else should be using the internet, which means all the bandwidth or all the internet is mine right now. And I'm going to take a little sip of water. And that is quite refreshing. Oh me, oh my. Okay. So let me re-explain then what this is, what I'm doing. So I know I've been streaming, like, creepypasta games. And I've also been streaming uh, a ROM hack called The Second Reality Project. I'm going to take a break from that today because I recently received a private message from Underway, one of the creators of the Coronation Day ROM hack that I did a video on a while back. And so he sent me a recommendation for an obscure hack called Massimo, or M-A-S-S-I-M-O. I don't know how that's pronounced. I'm pronouncing it Massimo, because I think that's a fun, snappy enough way to pronounce it. So apparently... I don't think, from what he told me, this is not necessarily like a creepy hack, necessarily, but it is weird and unconventional. And I don't know anything about it because I wanted to go in blind and stream my thoughts. So yes, that's what I'm doing. Uh, so this is a hack from 2008, and it was made by a guy called Enk. E-N-K. Enk. I don't know how that's meant to be pronounced. But I downloaded the zip file. It's actually not on SMW Central. It was posted to romhacking.net, but I don't know if there is, but, but I don't know if the creator ever had any intention of putting it to SMWC. He has an account on SMWC, but yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, so as I was, so earlier I tried doing, when I tried doing the stream, I got as far as showing off the files that came with the hack before the internet went haywire. So the file came... Oh god. So the file came with two IPS patches. Not just the one. Massimo and Mario's Mini Adventure, as well as a couple text documents. So this one I looked at, and I think it's just like hints and tips for some of the harder parts of the game. So maybe I'll keep that in my mind in case I get stuck. But this one... Arg, read me, you flesh bag. Seems to just be uh, the hacks read me. So let's take a look. Okay, let me adjust the screen. Okay, Massimo. Arg, I've been torn away from my eternal slumber and forced to tell you about some low-life game mod called Massimo. Since I really don't give a damn about you or this game, I'll make this painlessly brief so I can get back to my wonderful dreams about nothing. I don't really feel like doing a, a pirate voice for this, but, uh... Oh, this is kind of long, actually. So let me try to think of some highly thought-provoking questions you might be wondering about. Did I get it to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what Massimo is? <laughs> a sad, pathetic flesh bag like yourself. Just some bum who lives in a hole in the ground. Well, geez, if you're gonna be mean to me, maybe I just won't play the hack. Alright, we're at, well, <laughs> that's it for the night. What else are we streaming? Just gonna insult me all day. All right, let's take a look. I am not a wuss. I can handle some insults. Don't get you britches all soggy. He's nothing special. Wait, what? Oh, Massimo's a character. 
Hey man, what are you streaming? This is, so right now I'm looking at the readme, but this is going to be a hack called Massimo, which was made by, it's an obscure ROM hack that was recommended to me by the guy who made Coronation Day. And he said that this hack was actually one of his inspirations while working on the hack. So I'm very interested in taking a look at it. Uh, what's the story? Um, what the play is? How do I play the game? Well, okay, I know how to do this. Yeah, so we got some unconventional palettes. Input, any more input. It was an experiment to strip away a lot of the Mario rudiments, blending a lot of things, bringing out the personality in other ways. It was lately influenced by a lot of old school game design. Uh, I love that hack a lot. Yeah, so this was made by a different person, and it's more obscure. It's from 2008, and I've never heard of I'd never heard of this hack up until he mentioned it to me. He just DM'd me out of the blue and said, hey, you want a really out-of-pocket recommendation? And I was like, hell yeah. Uh, light adventure elements, exploring environments, but for the most part, fairly straightforward. <laughs> Nothing new to you nerds. Uh... What? So talking about other mechanics, there are ways to unlock other two other unique Massimo games. So apparently, so apparently, this sounds like this is pretty interesting. It sounds like he put some creative. <clears throat> sounds like he put some creative stuff into it. Urka Durka Furp. At this point, I'm going to assume you're about to slip away into one of your drunken stupors. Your brain probably needs a bit of rest since you've listened to all my useless rambling up to this point. You'll most likely forget all my insightful knowledge by the morning. I bid you sad sots fare thee well. See you in year in a few years when you meet your unexpected end. Special thanks, NeoGaf, the community of SMW Central, some other things. Danny Trejo. G Sauce. Why did Capcom thank him? I'm interested in learning more about that. Nintendo, and thank you! Oh god, yes, thank you. Come over here and let me give you a smooch. Mwah. What an interesting fellow. Yeah, I'm wondering about the... What, what, why Capcom? Alright, so here's what's weird about this hack, right? So it came with two IPS patches. One called Massimo, which I assume is the main game. But another one called Mario's Mini Adventure. I... Um, so that one has the smaller patch. I'm going to play that one first because I'm curious. Maybe it'll be like a, a demo type thing? Ank 8 bits. Super Mario Mini Adventure. Uh, and then I was testing this earlier, which is why there's an empty file there. No, but from what Underway told me, this is a very unconventional hack. And I don't, and I'm very interested in finding out what he means by that. Something is happening. Mario must do it. <laughs> All right, I'm hooked. I will say I'm hooked. I don't know what's where this is going, but then I'm hooked. I don't think this is gonna have any jump scares. But uh, from the screenshots I've seen, it looks like there are gonna be some unusual palettes at least. Begin the adventure. All right. Always got to go left first. Oh, 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 oh. One thing I probably should warn everyone watching this. This hack, I mentioned earlier, this hack is from 2008. There is... Oh, uh oh, I'm dropping a few frames here and there. Not as bad as earlier, though. I'm still happy about that. And one thing I should probably mention as a warning. I mentioned this hack came out in 2008. A consequence of that is that that means that the music in the hack, was added using the really, really old software that no longer works on modern emulators. And I... So, so there are going to be some musical glitches here and there. Uh, okay, that's just regular Goomba. Yeah, so I don't really know anything about this. I don't know why there are going to be... Would the game crash or something? Well, it, it could. It very well could. But I have the emul- But on the emulator I'm using- Or, sorry. On my l legally purchased, legitimate Super Nintendo, 
I have the I have the settings set up so it shouldn't do that, but it might end up with like some glitchy sounds. Like right there, you might have noticed that the music didn't sound the way it should have sounded. And sounded kind of like scratchy. I don't think it should crash. I think I have all the settings set up properly to avoid that. Can I go down these guys? Like little mini pipes? I don't think so, because I don't think Super Mario World would allow it. Uh, at least not for 2008 standards. So I'm not expecting there to be... Th that was something that someone mentioned earlier when I first attempted this. Someone said they were worried about jump scares. And I don't think anyone has to worry about that. Because in 2008, there wasn't like a lot of people doing weird ASM, like, like coding stuff. And I don't think you could really do jump scare type things without that. And yeah, he got rid of the, uh, he got rid of the status bar. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know if Underway has any interest in watching my streams, but if he, uh, I wonder if he's yelling at me right now for playing this. Because this, because he recommended the hack, and now I'm playing, like, the weird secondary hack that came with it. And I have no idea how long this is going, or or what this is supposed to be. See, like the little scratch. I don't think that's how the music is supposed to sound. Uh oh! Oh Jesus! I barely made that jump. So far, this hack feels fairly normal. Maybe when I play the actual one, maybe I won't feel the same way. But Mario's mini-adventure so far just feels like a 2008 hack. Oh, sh oh dang, god dang it. This, I was gonna say, this actually is making me kind of nostalgic in a really weird way. Because I'm getting to hear, for the first time in years, all of the old ports of these songs that came out way back in 2007 and 8 that were used all the time when adding music to your ROM hack was like a, like a brand new big deal in the community. I don't know, I don't know if anyone's gonna care about this, but back in 2007, when they first started coming out with software for adding music, there was like a whole craze where people were making all kinds of like really crappy ports of songs from early Nintendo games. And most and all of them were bad because you know, people were just kind of just learning the software and no one really knew how to make things sound good with it. And I'm recognizing a couple of the ports that were used in this because because again the sack was from 2008. So I imagine I'm going to be hearing a lot of those really old, ancient, out-of-date ports once more. I think that's cool. Can I pick these guys up? Little weeds in the ground? You can do that in Mario 2, but you wouldn't be able to do it in this game unless he added some, like, special code for that to work. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna hop over you, rush back to where I was. Oh, Jesus. I keep missing... The clouds are kind of blending in for me because they look... Because they're the same color and even have the same outlines as the ones in the background. So I keep, like, almost missing them. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna try not to get hit again. Because I did, I did get hit before, and I got hit again. Alright. I'm just gonna try not to fall into the pit again and hope there's a checkpoint coming up soon. I think I'll play a few levels of this demo, or I keep calling it a demo, I'm just like assuming that's what it is. It's like a little side adventure. I'll play a few levels of it, and if it doesn't get interesting or if nothing neat happens, I'll just go straight to the other one. Because I know this is not the main hack, but I'm checking it out out of curiosity. Oh jeez, almost got me there. Why is it green? One up? Nope, a vine.
Now what is happening here? A blind jump? I guess so. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Woo! Oh, it's a vine. Alright, well, that's good. It's a good thing I made it a good jump. Probably would have got me otherwise. Uh, okay. Yeah, too normal to be spooky stuff. Hello, bricks and blocks. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Okay, that ain't. I didn't see what was going on there. Uh, I don't like the fact that there hasn't been any checkpoints so far. It could mean this guy just doesn't like checkpoints. But, uh... I haven't figured out what's going on with the Switch Palace over here. Is there something here? So they, oh, 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 here we go. Alternate world? And more Kirby music. So we found a new path. And this is this place is a more interesting palette. Oh jeez, that was a close call. So was that. I keep getting cocky. What the fr- he, he changed the pot, the piranha plants. Normally they don't come up when you're on the pipe, but that one did. So, right now this is just kind of looking like a mirrored version of the first area. Except, this is gonna be harder to- this is gonna be a harder jump to make. There we go. The true horror, the lack of checkpoints. That's always the thing I'm most afraid of with tough levels. But, uh, I think- I think that was a bad move, me going through that door. I think that just activated hard mode. Because everything about this level has just been harder now. <laughs> um, looks like he got rid of lives, though. I know the status bar is gone, but I'm hoping that means there's no game overs, either. Okay. I wonder if every level has a hard mode. Oh god. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. He's obviously getting grim without those checkpoints. A little bit. I'm a little I don't know I don't know how to feel about the fact that I've died three times now on the first level of the game. Should I be ashamed of myself? The fact that it's this difficult, though, makes me wonder. Because it's called Mario's Mini Adventure, so I wonder if this whole hack is going to be this one level. Yeah, save states are cool, but I, I gotta be better than that, you know? I gotta... I gotta... I gotta be awesome. I gotta do it all without save states. So far in this channel, the only time I've used save states at all on this entire channel was for the stupid, um... The, the, the peach thing in the Coronation Day hack. And even that, I really didn't need a save state for that. It's just that I was streaming that at like 2 a.m. I was getting really tired and, and uh, getting sick of that. But, um, but yeah, I try not to, to do that if I can help it. Because it's like, sometimes the struggle makes it more satisfying to make it that way. Yeah, champ pride. I have pride in my awesomeness. That bullet chews to come out at the worst possible time. And I resent him for that. That means I've lost my security, because every time I've gone through that, the later section with the Lakitu, gotten hit every time. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Rawr. Hello, Barracon. Who are you growling at? Salutation, Salhoitations, fellas. Salhoitations to you, too. This Kirby music makes me really happy, though. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can climb over this guy, though. Okay, never mind. I can only climb some of them. That's not good. Can I climb up here, then? A little secret. A little, little, little see. Ooh. So, these guys will kill all enemies. Right? Alright, well, I was completely wrong. That's normally what that thing does, but maybe it doesn't affect these custom enemies. Well, no, these aren't custom enemies, though, because these Pokies are in the game. They're in the original game. 
So maybe they just only work on some enemies. I know they work on munchers. But I don't know about other things. But yeah, so far in this level there have been no checkpoints, and there have been no power-ups other than the mushroom in the first area. I wonder why people don't make creepy Rayman games? When it has so much potential? I could see Rayman having a lot of potential for surreal horror. But I think Rayman is just, like, not quite as mainstream as, a uh, say, Mario or Sonic. Okay, I, I, that part I don't like, because it's like a blind jump. Because even, at, even though I bounced off the Koopa, I couldn't position myself for the second one. I think it'd be nicer if there was, like, a... Like a coin guide or something, so I could see better where the next Koopas were. Like if there were some lines above each one. That would be nice. That'd be cool. I've never actually played Rayman. I've always really liked the style of it, but I've always wanted to give the first game a shot. I've heard people say it's really hard, though. Which is exactly why I need to try it. Also, I think I was wrong, actually, about the status bar meaning that there are no lives. Because I looked at the overworld, and I think I'm on my last life. So, that's not good. And, well, I guess I'm gonna find out the consequences. Yeah, game over, but I'm not gonna get set back in it at all, because... Yeah. Yeah that, was, yeah, that was pretty bad timing. <laughs> oh, God. And this is just the first level, too. Again, I'm gonna give this a couple... I'm gonna give this a couple more shots, and then I'll give the actual hack a try. Because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this when it's not even the main event, as far as I can tell. Because I know you guys want to see me get into the meat and potatoes of the stream. Not the side dishes. This is like the french fries. At least that's how it fits into my analogy, I think. I should have gone back and grabbed the mushroom. Because I'm not going to get any more power-ups in this level, I don't think. Okay. We got the mushroom. Now let's get back out of here and head back. I want to tell you guys a fun story. So I'm living in this house, and in the town that I'm living in, in the college town that I'm living in for my degree, uh, there are a lot of cats, a lot of stray cats, all over the neighborhood. Because I think that's actually fairly common in college towns, because college students who don't really know what they're doing with pet ownership, just like adopt cats, then they decide that they don't really have the responsibility or the resources to take care of them, so they kind of let them go on the streets, and then they just... and then suddenly you have a town filled to the brim with stray cats walking around all over the place. And that's kind of what's going on, uh, except in the area, that, in the neighborhood that I'm living in right now, is especially filled with them. Is there anything to the right? I guess not. The town I'm in right now is especially filled with them. And my and there are two cats in particular that live pr that I guess wander around pretty close to where my house currently is. And one of my roommates has kind of taken a liking to them and has bought like cans of fancy feast and just goes outside sometimes and feeds them food. And I think that's pretty funny. Though, what's happening now is a consequence of that, is that lately, every time, every single time in the past week that I've either exited or left my house, I've seen those two cats just standing in front of the front door, looking at me, either like, I guess, scared away by my presence, or looking at me like expectantly, like they're expecting me to give them some food. So I don't know how to feel about that. It... It startles me sometimes when I, uh, like, like just earlier today, like just about an hour ago, I left the house to go get some food 
to, to go for a little drive. And I opened the door, and both of them just startled me, being right there on the porch. Freaks me out a little bit. I hope that they're not going to try and breaking... I'm not, I hope they're not going to try getting into the house. I don't want them to like us too much. You know? Especially because they're like outdoor cats, you know? So I don't know how... God dang it. So I don't know how, like... I guess well-trained they are. Like, like, I don't know... How likely they are to not attack me. Because I think animals consider me very attackable. I'm no animal expert, but friends I have who are animal experts say that my deep voice is going to terrify animals. And so the last thing I want is to get my face bitten off because one of them mistook me for a foe. Alright, come on. Let's 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 see if we can get let's make some progress. God dang it. As soon as I say that, as soon as I comment on my skills on this, I immediately die right afterwards. Alright, one more attempt. One more attempt, and then I'm just gonna go straight to Nasimo. Applause, though. Oh, Jesus. W one more, like, legitimate attempt. Like, if I die in this next Koopa like a dumbass, then... It doesn't count. I'm persistent. It's called Mario's Mini Adventure, so the main game's probably gonna be even harder. And I'll never make it past the first level of that one. Talking about Rayman, because... Uh, I've never played Rayman. I would like to, though. I really like the music. The, the, the few, the, like, the, the songs I've heard from the Rayman franchise are really good. And I'm always a sucker for good music in video games. It's like one of the things that gets me really invested and eager to keep trying, even if I'm failing. Because then I get to hear those songs on loop over and over again. It always makes me happy. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard Legends was pretty good. Like, that's, that's the really popular one. There we go. Okay, come on. Let's try not to get hurt on these guys, at least. Okay. Let's just take our time with these guys. Do a little spinny spin jump. Now they're chasing after me. And now we're just about, we're almost to where I was last time. With the stupid Koopas that want to just jump on me over and over again. Or that I have to jump on. I wonder if there's an easier way around this part, though. I can probably kill you guys by spin jumping. That's right. If I, like, is there a way I can head down so I can, like, see better what's happening? Can I kill you to get you out of the way first? Oh geez, there's some long messages. What the heck? Uh oh, I'm just talking about other things. Okay. Here we go. Oh well that, so that gives me an extra mushroom. So I guess now I'll know that if I need it. But um Alright, let's give this a shot. Another shot. Okay. Come on. There we go. Come on. Seriously? I, like, if, you, if I could see where the Koopas were ahead of time, then this wouldn't be that bad. But alright. I'm a man of my word. That was another attempt. So now let's try the main event. Massimo.
Here we go. And we've got some custom art too. And some new palettes. This is the hack that supposedly is where things are going to get strange and weird and unconventional. And since this was an inspiration for Coronation Day, I'm interested in seeing what this has to offer. Taking a water sip. Let's take a look. We got Massimo 1, Massimo 2, and Massimo 3. <laughs> Mario's lost brother, Massimo. Maybe that's going to be what the plot is. Massimo is bored. It's time for adventure. Is this Kirby music? It is. It is. It is Kirby. I, I, I knew it sounded familiar, but I had to think for a moment on whether it was Kirby or Final Fantasy. So we got Massimo's hole. So there was a readme file that came with the hack and kind of tried to explain, but um, it just said Massimo was a guy and the readme made it sound like he was a worthless guy or something. <laughs> okay. I know this music. This music is... This music is from Turrican. From Turrican 2. I think it's called, like, the Great Bath. Mom? Um. I thought it said mom. Like, it kind of looks like it says mom, right? Can I go down here? I can. Oh, now this one sounds familiar, too. I'm just gonna assume it's Kirby. Uh... I think I need to hit the Switch Palace to get up there, though. Because I don't think I can get up there right now. Okay, I'll, I'll just keep that in mind. Didn't have the room for the E. Yeah, well, here, you'd think you have plenty of room. Alright, thanks for the advice, Mom. There we go. Uh... This is a great song from Turrican 2, by the way. I've never played any Turrican games. But Chris Hulsbeck, I think his name is, is like a fantastic composer. Okay, so, so there is like some weird stuff going on here. Because there was a random bounce block earlier. I think there's another one up there. But they're like retextured so that the music blo blocks are gone. And you can't really tell what they are. Yeah, I always have to assume it's Kirby. Oh, here we go. So, so far, this is definitely looking easier than Mario's mini-adventure. Um, no enemies. We've got a key. Oh, god damn you. See, keys are nice because... Is there the music? I-I-I honestly don't know. I knew that melody sounded familiar. <laughs> Um, okay, so we've already found a secret exit, and that was hidden by not being hidden at all. Da, 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 da. Oh, you're right, that's like the snow theme. Okay, I do remember that now. I've never played Earthbound either, though. Okay. So this is very weird. I, I'm so far agreeing that this is very a very unconventional hack. It feels very 2008 though. Like I like the custom palettes, and I like the fact that Mario has a beard now. But it does feel very um unique. All right, so I guess no cut, no uh, no secret exit this time. Oh oh, there's only a secret exit. God dang it. Alright, so I guess this is the only exit? It's like Mario's Catastrophe. Which is another hack I would like to stream, but... It's also another really old one. 
That was Massimo's Hole. Now here's Watery Passageway. So there's going to be swimming, isn't there? Sounds like there's no music. Will I screw myself if I fall down? Because I can't jump back up, can I? Yeah, I kind of screwed myself. Oh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. False alarm. All right, let's head back down. And we got graphical glitches. Okay, so it's water level. But you wouldn't know it just from looking at it. Well, I guess now you would. Now you would, because of the seaweed. But, um... Is that ground? Uh, what the heck... This music again again sounds familiar. I need to stop I keep I need to stop fixating on the music. I feel like that's the twentieth time just this hack alone I've commented on the songs. But um is that an enemy? Looks like got one of those sleeper fishes. I hate those guys. He changed the graphics on them to make them look even more demonic though. Jeez Louise. Okay. Fortunately, though, when you're holding things, you move really fast horizontally. So, that's actually not too worrisome. Mm. Okay, so now things are getting a little creepy. We got a little ninji with red eyes. Kind of scared to even jump on you. Uh, can I move under? No, I cannot. All right. Die. Die. Oh, is that my first point? Here we go. So should I even be holding onto the key? Because I don't actually don't actually don't think that's gonna do me much good right now. What the hell? So I, I'll jump up to you. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because you got vines. Yeah, I guess I, I guess you want me to do this. Okay. But works for me. But I want to hold on to this key, so I'm throwing you up there. And then I'm going to run back to this vine and jump around. Jump around. I said jump around. I said jump around. That did not work. Probably should have thrown the key up first before doing all that parkour. There we go. Jeez Louis, Jesus. Holy crap, that was actually a really close one. Maybe the apples are a code for something in the future. I like the way you think. Uh, scared those guys are gonna hurt me. I'm scared. There we go. Once again, it seems like there are no power-ups and no checkpoints. Okay. Knock you out of the way, knock you out of the way. It's gonna kill every single one of you guys. Ooh, Jesus, that was a close one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, I guess... I guess I could keep going to the right and seeing what's what. A use for the keyhole? A big coin. Oh, I guess it's a dragon coin. So does that mean I'm only a fifth of the way through this level? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can do anything with that. Come on. Come on, jump up. Seriously? Jump to the left. Do a little bit of this. This is harder than it looks when you're on like an actual controller. I feel like I would, I would have an easier time doing all this on keyboard. But the reason why I stopped doing keyboard while streaming is because it just makes it really loud. Though, maybe this is not how I'm supposed to do this anyway. Is there like an invisible block? Huh? I'm 
sure this ROM has something special considering it was the main inspiration for a bigger one. Yeah, I remember Underway just mentioned that he really liked how unconventional, how unique it was. And how it's got like a, a style to it that he found interesting. He didn't elaborate though on whether or not there were any like plot twists. But also I didn't I didn't ask him to because I kind of wanted to go into it blind. So I'm going to assume that there's no time limit going on here. Okay. Come on. Chug, chuck the key up to the platform. Up this? Up here? Like, uh, like over there? That doesn't seem to be... I don't think, um... It doesn't look like there's a top to that. I'm kind of hoping I can use the key to do a little bit of this. Woo! Oh, see, I hit the... Wait, what the heck? Is there even anything up there? There we go. Okay. Maybe that's why I needed the key. Because I don't know if you can do that with the vines alone. But if I see another keyhole... If I see another keyhole, then... Um, then I guess I'll know that that was not the intended method. That's the second dragon coin. I'm not going to risk getting it. That means I'm probably not even halfway through this level. Yeah, this is another old song port that makes me nostalgic, because I specifically remember this specific song being ported by... Or, no, 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 this song was came... This particular port of this song from Mario RPG... Oh god, they do want me to hold on to the key. No! Oh, maybe I just need to bounce off the enemies. Maybe I completely overthought that. But yeah, this song, I remember, it came with the original ad music. Like, the original software for adding the music came, like a, came with a bunch of demos, and this was one of them. God damn it. I guess I gotta kill myself then and do all that again. Oops. But what's going on, though, with those blocks? I want to know that. Like will, these, like, will these become solid? I guess when I get... Oh, what the frick? <laughs> I guess when I get to one of the Switch palaces, but I don't know why they're, like, black. That's weird. Yeah, so let's get back to where I was before. And since it was a water level, that means there's a lot I have to go through. Holy crap, I've already been going for 40 minutes. That is mildly concerning. That I've made so little progress <laughs> in that time. Whatever, I've been having fun. I don't care. Right, so I gotta hold on to you the entire level then. Since I don't think I have any other options. Yeah, like, there are no other levels I can go to. Unless I want to try going to Mom again. Forty minutes and still at level one half. Yeah, the enemy design is pretty creative, though. Like, even with a limited assemble, even with limited coding customization, this this act still already has, like, a, a pretty unique identity. And that's probably why Underway likes it so much. I don't recognize this music at all, though. It just sounds like some kind of creepy ambience. Now, here we go. 
So let's not screw this up and accidentally kill the guy before I have a chance to... There we go. Booyah. We're gonna beat this level now. As long as I don't mess it up and die at this point. Which actually might be pretty hard, because the issue with, with holding an item underwater is that even though holding an item makes you move really fast horizontally, it makes you move really slow and miserably vertically. So this might actually be pretty tough. Except there I go beating the level. Booyah. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head to the keyhole. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any risks, just because these levels are trials. No, that was easy. Oasis. More Mario RPG. I like that shades emoji. Here we go. Is this Massimo? Babies can't float. Or can they? Mmm, babies. Wow, I don't like anything about this. Jesus. What the heck was that? Uh, on your first entrance, you start to feel a little yellow. Oh, oops. You start to feel a little yellow. The second, you feel the blues. And the third, it's all swimmingly. And the first, yellow. Second, blues. Third, swimmingly. So I guess it's a color order. One, yellow. Two, blue. Three, something else. I don't, I don't really know what that's about. I'm assuming I'll figure out what that's talking about later. It's obviously a code for something, but uh, so that's a pipe I can probably go through. Um, something about babies. Oh, this is like back to where I was before. This is like mirroring the late, the last level. Oh, I can't go down there. Oh, because it's supposed to be like the beginning of a level I just came from. So I can probably go forward now? Or not? Maybe this is like one of those levels where I have to come back after I've gotten all the Switch palaces? It's kind of the impression I'm getting now. Yeah, right now this is just this is getting very strange. Oh yeah, I think I need to Don't die this time. I might have to die this time. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think I have to wait until I get the other switch palaces. I think I need to uh there's probably something else I can do somewhere. Yeah, because this pipe doesn't do anything. Can I hop on top? Give me something up here? Or maybe it is an ASM thing. Maybe there's a puzzle. There's first entrance yellow, second blues, third is swimming lane. So maybe that's a hint that something will unlock if I swim somewhere after touching on the yellow thing? Use a guide? Well, I could take a look at the little sheet that came with the hack. So, hang on a sec. Hang on a second. Because the, the hack came... So, for those of you who are just joining, the hack came with a text file that I think explains some things. Um, so, there's a text file that actually doesn't look like it explains anything. Let me, let me show you what I'm seeing. So this, what I have, what I have in my possession, is the text file that came with the hack. Okay, let me resize it. Yeah, so you can see exactly what I have. Okay. Yeah. So this is the text file. Uh, what do you got for beating Blue Hills? This is, this is a quickie strat guide for lost adventurers. But, um... None of this seems like anything pertaining to where we are right now. Huh. So 
So I'm gonna, maybe I just missed something. I'm gonna reload this. I'm gonna reload this. I guess I'm gonna die, since so it doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do right now. Oh, or, or I can just die accidentally anyway. Black, yellow, blue, black, green, red, white? What are you talking about? Oh, I can go down. Oh, I have a lot of options for places I can go. Entry to your end. The blocks are certain colors. Yeah, because it, have you played Super Mario World? I think it's supposed to be like the the Switch palaces in the original. Oh, this is a good port. This is a this port really takes me back. Do any of you guys recognize what this song is? This song is uh from the from Final Fantasy three. Like not six, like the actual three on the NES. Pounding the Great Hump is a surefire way you to bring you to the heavens. I think I don't remember the name of the song. I think the name of the song is called Dark Crystal or World of Darkness. Something like that. It's, it's genuinely one of my favorite melodies in video game music. It is really catchy. Um, pounding the Great Hump is a... Can I do a ground pounds? Bring me to the heavens. And the Great Hump. I guess that means there's going to be a big hill somewhere. Oh my god, he added custom enemies. I'm jumping over you. Can I... Oh, maybe, the, maybe his maces will destroy the blocks? No, they won't. What? Can I move to the side? No? This is another thing where I'm stuck? Or can I really have to kill you first? No. Yeah, the forest maze was the Mario RPG one. The overworld music, though, this is from Final Fantasy 3. Look at this. YG. Let's try this level. Please tell me there's a secret under this water, and then I'm not just swimming to nothing. Because that would be disappointing. But so far, I feel like it, but it would also fit into this hex MO. But that's not the case. No, it actually takes us somewhere. Somewhere I could have got much faster by running and jumping. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. This might be the great hump, because we got a big hill. Can I jump? Jump and Jumping and pressing down, like the ground pound? A hidden block somewhere? It said if you pound the great hump, then pound the great hump and you'll be taken to heavens. Maybe there's going to be another hump. You say the colors of ENA? What is ENA? You've mentioned that multiple times and I don't know what that means. No? Another hint? The bush, hick, babies, lovish, sprung, we sure. We sure? The heck? Uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, really? No. Uh, anything else? Um, there's like a trampoline or something I'm supposed to grab. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. No, please. I just completely screwed myself. Holy crap. Unless it respawned. But I doubt it. Knowing this game, I don't think it would. God damn it. Massimo is an, a masculine name of Italian origin, meaning biggest and greatest. This name is for the baby who's going to make who's going to be well on their way to making a name for themselves. Oh, here we go. Let's not mess this up. Okay. Does that, does that open something? 
Does that make a door visible? Does it make that visible? No. Uh, I, not I notice it's not dying. The music is still going. Is Pound the Great Hump a metaphor for Maiden? <laughs> Maybe. So the music's still going on. I don't know if that's a glitch, or if that means that I have unlimited time. Nothing seems to have changed, so I'm assuming it's a music glitch. Did it change what you have to say? The Bush Babies Love Spring Water, or something. Yeah, this music gets, it gets kind of maddening when you're hearing it on loop over and over again. I don't know why you said Key Gem. I love Key Gems, though. Key Gems have great music, too. I think the key gen music everyone knows is the one that's like, like a do 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 that one, you know, the little uh, the mystery one. Woo! I don't think the music is a glitch. Why do you say that? It very because well, I'm expecting there to be music glitches because of the whole old ad music thing. It could totally be a glitch. Maybe I gotta swim down. No. The song is in every Mario hack ROM. Alright, let's try this again, except I'm gonna take the switch and bring it over to the, the the top of the Great Hump. And see if it opens a door or something here. Maybe run maybe j running jump onto the mountain on the right. Uh, that's what I would like to do. The issue is, once you get past the first jump, you kind of lose your momentum. Like, you can get, like, running jump will get you, doing the run jump will get you up here. But I think it's going to be a lot harder to then get up the second hump. But you might be right about that, though. There might be the, there might be the intention. Maybe it's just supposed to be ungodly hard. I don't know. Woo! Now let's try taking you all the way to the side. Have you tried it on the clouds? Um, I think I think I was on the clouds when I hit the first time. Something here. Oh yeah. That's where the door is, on the big hump. But I can't go back through the store if I wanted to. I think. Maybe. Oh, those are... Wow, okay, that's clever. I like that, actually, the way those ghosts are hidden. That actually lends itself really well to being, like, a creepy hack thing. Oh jeez, this actually is kind of spooky. <laughs> this actually is a really weird atmosphere. Oh god. I don't think there were any clouds nearby. I think they mean the the ones that the switch came from. Game over. Well, it's a good thing that every level has had the game save immediately afterwards. Alright. Let's uh, head back down. <sighs> so where, where was I? Was I in Oasis or Egg? I think I was here. There we go. I need a little sip of water. Gamer drink. <laughs> It'd be a true gamer drink if it was something ungodly health unhealthy. Like, uh... If, I, if it was like Pepsi or Coke, it'd be a real gamer drink. I'm a water boy. I feel like there's supposed to be music in this area, but because of how outdated the emulator is, 
It's just completely glitching out. Can I go back through you? I can. But it's like a reset door. I actually like the way the ghosts reveal themselves, where you first notice it while you're kind of running. So it kind of lets you prepare for it and notice it without actually putting you in danger directly. I actually think that's really good level design. And I love and I love it when level designers do that sort of thing. Where like they have a unique threat, but they don't just blindly throw you into it. Like they introduce it and they set it up in a in a clever way. So that you kind of figure it out on your own and know what to expect. What the hell is this? Jump! There we go. Oh, what? God dang it, I thought I would jump through it. Is this level different? The sky was yellow last time, right? Wasn't it? Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, you're right. The sky was yellow the first time. Maybe it was just... huh. A glitch? Or maybe some background messery? Chicanery? Maybe I did something different? Maybe there's a plot twist approaching? Let's see, what color is the sky? It's yellow. Oh, maybe it's because of this. Now it's blue. What if I go through it again? Come on. You know, let me go through it. I can't go through the door again now. I could go through it once to change from yellow to blue, but now I can't go through again. At least I don't think I can. Unless I'm just messing it up somehow. Yeah, I'm just holding up, and that usually works. Yeah, nice job noticing that. Alright, but, but it seems like though the level itself is laid out the same way. Just the background changed colors. I think. Unless something else changed that I didn't realize. And I'm pretty sure this music is like from Link's Awakening or something. There we go. Okay, this time, don't jump directly into the clouds. That's better. So I could go through you. Is there something to the right? Yeah, every time you go through one of the doors, the background changes colors. Maybe. Complete this once and go do it on the yellow sky. Yeah, that's a good thinking. It's going backwards. Oh, the platform came back. I was wondering if that would keep going on forever, or if I didn't need to worry about it anymore. Alright, let's stay with the platform. Well, or not, because I kind of don't want to wait that long for this slow-moving thing to move. Oh, is that just for you? Ooh, mushroom. So that's just for a mushroom? Wait. Can I catch up to it? Yellow, blue, then black skies. I'm glad I have this mushroom, but I'm probably going to get hit immediately, and then it just won't have, like, a net effect of zero. Yeah, now the music's getting really screwy. Ooh, a cape! Hmm. 
Oh, that was stupid. Oh, come on. I thought there was gonna be ground below it. And I was going down. <sighs> and there still were no checkpoints. God damn. All right, well, let's get back to where we were before. Or you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, game. I've got the tools. I'm awesome. I have the power that you don't... Guys, I just realized something. The berries are checkpoints. The berries have been checkpoints all along. And I didn't realize that because I'm a big dumb idiot. I have no right to be playing this game. Alright, let's get back to the level. Alright, I'm getting out. That level's too scary for me. What the frick? Alright. Fine, okay. I got the checkpoint now, I don't care anymore. Except now I lost the cape. Yeah, this game is, uh, this game is, uh, weird. This game is tricky-dicky. I'm not going down that pipe. I'm never touching that pipe ever again. <laughs> uh, should I explore and drop down the pipe? I don't think I want to do that. Um. Yeah, this is more music from, oh, it's water. Oh. This is cool. Isn't there a Super Mario Galaxy level just like this? Oh wait, is there something down there? No. Weird. Yeah, this hack is really interesting though. I totally get what Underway meant. This place looks really cool. Secret? Uh, I kind of don't want to go down there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done risking my life in this hack. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got individual little block circles. Spin jumps on the thwomps. Maybe they'll lead somewhere higher. All right. That's, that's an interesting thought. Usually, you don't get that much air when you spin jump. So I feel like it'd be... Yeah, if they were to lead me somewhere, I feel like I'd be able to see it from there. Like from when I jump up here. Oh, unless you unless you mean the bigger ones from earlier, because then maybe. Let's give it a shot. I think the little guys that jump back and forth are called thwimps or something like that. Oh, I, I can I can uh, cheese my way out into the top. Secret? Okay, wait. I think I found a secret actually. Okay. All right. Well, that led to absolutely nothing.
Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe there is something up there. Okay, nope, that's just gonna crush me. Okay. It was a good theory, but I guess not. Or maybe with this guy? No. Seems like that is not in the cards today. No, don't don't apologize. It's a it was a good thought. Coming up with ideas for more things to explore is not something that needs to be punished. Okay. What the heck? Oh. The physics of this are weird, because it, if I jump into it, it kind of throws me to the side. But if I walk to the side and slowly move forward, then it works. Right in the beginning, there were dots and lines just like that of Morse code. I didn't, I didn't think about that. I'm assuming that it was like dots and lines so that it would be separated. That... You know what? I think you're right. Because they had like odd separations between them. But it was like just enough where I could see the difference. I think you have a point. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on a second. Let me uh, pull out my trusty Morse code. And I could rewind, but I, instead I could just pull up the live VOD right now. You know Morse code? That's good. It's even better. All right, let's, let's pull up the VOD and see what we have. So, I actually, um, <laughs> I've pulled, okay, let me, give it a sec for the ads to go away, but I actually pulled up my own channel on YouTube. Uh, okay, okay, the cheese method Morse code. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So when I, here's when I went back in time. Here's the part where I climbed up the blocks. And what did I do? I went to the beginning, and then I cut through a bit. Here's what I did. So dot, dash, dot, dot. Yeah, this is totally Morse code. Okay, let, here, let me go back to the part where I actually went all the way back. Okay, so the first one, dot, dash, dot, dot. So dot, dash, dot, dot is... Uh, where is it? It's L? Okay, yeah, you're right, it's L. Is it going to say Luigi or something? Okay, wait, so it's L, and then the next one after that was, it looks like, is it three dashes or four? One, two, three. Three dashes. So what is that? Is that O? Is it going to be like love? So, and then another L, I think. Because after that, uh, come on, go on, bear with me. So that's another L. Then that's an O. And that's it. It just says LOL, really? All that just for it to say LOL? Are you serious? <laughs> Was there anything after that? No, there wasn't. I hate this game. This is the worst hack I've ever played in my life. And by that, I mean I absolutely love it, and I am enjoying every second of this. Alright, back to the game. We cracked the codes. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, can I can I do anything up here? 
Oh, I can I can cheese this pretty hard. Ah, uh, what the hell? All right, dot. What is dot in Morse code? Because this is that letter over and over again. Oh, they wanted me to do that, didn't they? There's dots. Yeah, there, there's one dot underneath each of the mushroom. But I don't think that actually means anything, because it's nothing but... It. What the frick? What the hell? What the f... Okay. That completely startled me. I thought that the game was haunted for a second there. Yeah, one dot is E. Alright. Oh, god dang it. For some reason that didn't occur to me. Don't care! I'm not doing the whole level all over again. Oh jeez. Come on, fall down. Oh, but you shoot up. See that? Alright. I gotta stop spamming the, 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 the tools or else this is gonna get boring. Except I am gonna use it here because this is getting a lot. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so reskin Magic Koopa, but the, the graphics startled me. We'll throw everything at the wall until something sticks. No, this deck is nuts. So we got two dots. Uh, Alright. What the f- did that even take me anywhere new? Uh, what? Oh, I guess this is a different area. Oh, okay. Open the level in map editor to see the full code. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do exactly that thing. Stop right there. Did you know did you know hacking is a sin? Uh okay. Okay, let's open the editor. I'm firing up the editor right now. Oh. Oh. So, um, about that. Ab about that, guys. A about about that. I, uh... I don't think, uh, that's gonna get us anywhere anytime soon. So, funny thing about that is, there is a software that used to exist that you could use to undo this and like break past it anyway but um that software has been removed from a lot of websites because smw central decided it was disrespectful to host software that you could use to go against the author's wishes for their creations and i don't think i have that software saved anywhere on my computer maybe on an old flash drive somewhere but uh i don't know could I... is it on RHDN? From hacking.net. Recover. No. It is completely gone. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, what? It is on the site. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what mailman said. I'm just gonna ask the game very nicely. I'm gonna ask the game very nicely and see what happens. I'll throw you into here. I'm I'm asking, hey game, hey Massimo. Very, very pretty please. Pretty please let me in. Oh, would you look at that? He said yes. What a nice guy. I always knew you could uh, make a lot of con a lot of progress in conversations by simply talking to people, by simply talking it out. Yeah, do it. Do it for the stream game. Everyone, give your round of applause to the game. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay, here we go. 
Corrupt entries have been detected and filtered out in the silent event data. All right. So we've got... So what was level 11F, I think? 11F. No, that wasn't it. Was it, was it 127? Uh, what? Wait, which level was it? Oh, it was up here. It was 108. Okay. It was either 108 or 11D. Okay. 108. So was that level, which takes you to 12A, which then led to... Interesting. Which then led to... Wait, what? Well, wait, wait, led back to 108. Which then led to 113. So there's the LOL. <laughs> So yeah, so we just got some dots underneath the mushrooms. A bunch of squares. I don't think there are squares in Morse code, so I don't think that means anything. There's the Yoshi coin I didn't bother to get. Um. Yeah, and then it just kind of leads back into it. Okay. And then EB was where we left off. Oh, wait. Is H... Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's code anymore. I think he added the LOL to troll us. And that's it. Okay. Back to the game. Back to the game. So I think I know what to do. I think I think all I got to do. There we go. Go right to the summit. Oh my god, a switch palace. Thank god. Yes, sir. You done it once. Again, yes, you did. Thank you. I appreciate that compliment. We tried. That's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't switch it back. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta save. So even if I get game over again, it's okay because everything's saved now. You prefer you prefer the crappy resolution? <laughs> I didn't mean to click that level. But okay, let's see what it is. Pounding the... Oh, this is the one we did already. So, so does that mean I can see more blocks? Have I unlocked some things? No, I have not. I don't think there's anything I can do in this level right now. But there were other levels, though. The head things. Like the blue block. Can I go to the right? An oasis? Yeah, I'm enjoying the sack a lot because it's very not clear what to do next. But like in a fun way. Where it's like, hey, there's stuff going on here. But like I can kind of explore and unlock different things. Yeah, because in that level there was the blocked off area. So so now those blue blocks are open. So once I hit the yellow, green, and black switch palaces. But there is no black switch palaces. Then I can get out of there. I guess technically, though, I don't need green. Because if you get a running start, you can just jump right over the green. So yellow and black at least I need. But unfortunately, I think that means I need to die. Because I kind of can't do anything. <laughs> Is there a way I can safely leave the level? Like, is it exit enabled? Side exit enabled? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. It's the old SNW Central experience. Shh. 
Sheet Engine. Uh, and that was what I just did, I think. It's Watery Passageway. Was that the level I just tried and didn't do? Um, was there something in this level? Oh no. I beat it. Can I go to here? Back into hum. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, back into Massimo's hole. Uh, okay, so no, I can't do anything with that. I don't actually know what this would unlock though, because there's a trampoline up there. Oh, because then I can launch myself up through the ropes. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. So I'm just gonna get I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Massimo's little hole. But I wanna know what to do next. Exit enabled? Really? You're gonna have things Okay, you shouldn't have things that you need to come back for in like a non-linear hack like this and not have the hack exit enabled or the level side exit enabled. N beneath the yuds, I mean shrooms? A big code. <laughs> I'm yawning. I gotta go to sleep soon. A big code and level go to middle level. Okay. Uh, I think it's this button. Oh, there we go. There we go. Never mind. I completely forgot you could do that. In the middle level. You talking about Oasis? Egg? This thing? Whatever this is? I guess this is the middle level of the three. Oh, I already did this one. You sound tired, grab a beer, champ. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will. The cold one. I don't drink a whole lot, to be honest, though. Pounding the Great Hump. Have I actually taken advantage of this of this hint? Pounding the Great Hump. Like, I guess I put P-switches on the top of the hill. Oh, maybe that's what they mean? Like pound like stepping on the switch? That's what they mean by pounding? While you're on top of the of the peak of the hill? Maybe that's what they mean. So maybe I have used that hint. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do in this level right now. Because of the whole business with the ice cubes. Maybe if I come back here with a, a fire flower? Have we tried beating that one level during the yellow background? No, actually. No, you're right. We haven't done that. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, let's try this. See what it does, and then after that I'm gonna go to- I'm gonna call it quits for the night and go to sleep. Because I'm getting tired. Try the pipe. Which pipe? L last time we tried the pipe, it took me to Deathland. Yeah, I can hear the music trying to survive and then not surviving. Alright, so this time, I'm not gonna go through that door. I'm just gonna keep heading straight forward and see what happens. Oh, they added- so the go the position of the ghosts is changed. So it is a different level. That- that much is for sure. Come on, let's get back to here. That's not what I meant to do at all. I should not have done that. Oh, what the heck? Is that? Wait, wait, what did T do? No, I guess nothing. Okay. Now 
Yeah, I don't actually know how long this hack is. Normally, when I get hacks on SMW Central, I know how long they are, because it says on the hack submission page how many, how many exits they have, how many level exits they have. But since I didn't get, but since this hack isn't on SMW Central, I don't have the benefit of having that insider information. Oh god dang it. Nah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not letting that slide. There we go. It kind of looks mostly the same, though. What the heck? Yeah, the ghosts are more aggressive in this version of the level. Holy crap. So I'm gonna lure you all away. Yeah, what the frick? Holy crap. They do not- they are not letting up. They don't want to go easy on me at all. TLDR learn Hebrew? <laughs> For all we know, this could be a constantly looping hack with no definitive ending. If that was the case, this just might be the best hack ever made. Yeah, that ghost was definitely not there. When in the blue sky version of this level. Maybe doing all this will lead me to another version of what looks like the same level. With the difference being that I get the yellow switch palace. Because that would be nice. Alright, do I want to see what happens when I go down this pipe? I think I do. Let's see what happens. Well, what happened was exactly what I expected to happen, so let's undo that and move on. That's L. That's O. And there's the L. Okay. Yeah, the exact same thing happened when I went beyond that pipe before. Yeah, this just looks like the same level. But will the Switch Palace change? I would like to find out. I don't remember- I don't remember which game, but this music is from one of the Game Boy Zelda games. I actually did a few ports myself from those games. They've, they've got really nice music because it's like very creepy, but also kind of mysterious. Like, like it, it's like relaxing and creepy at the same time. I really like the music from those games a lot. Oh Jesus, that was a close call. I don't, I don't want to deal with the no checkpoint levels. Oh, come on. That is a kind of a good twist, though, that the last Thwomp you encounter actually slams up instead of down. It's a mean twist, but it's a cool one. Makes the level more fun. Alright, so I'm just going to assume this is the exact same process. We hot fall down, get the P-switch, climb all the way back up, hit the door, and will I get a different color switch? No. In fact, this is a complete dead end. Wait, what the hell? There's like a thing here. Alright, I don't think there's anything more I can do, though. Alright. 
Yeah, it didn't, didn't seem like it. Alright. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for the night. So far, this has been pretty fun. I am very interested in the attack. I'm honestly already kind of at a point where I'm very not sure what to do next. But I'm liking it, though. I like the style. I think it's very interesting. And there's a lot... There's a lot of stuff that I don't know how to feel about. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's obviously kind of go like done in a very goofy way like with the crap like with the game crash where you die when you go down the pipes but it almost feels intentional in a way or, or i guess i should say it kind of adds to the hex charm in a way that i, I kind of respect almost maybe use different switch for different color switch hmm. maybe but i doubt it eh, worth trying next stream I'll go back to Massimo's stinky hole and take a nap after this. Alright. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I always love seeing your comments. I always love having a little audience for doing these, playing these goofy little games. I really, and I hope to see you guys next time I do this. When will that be? I don't know. Maybe sometime within the next couple days. But I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of possibilities for this act. I love the kinds of games where I just genuinely have no idea what's coming next. Alright, I gotta go to bed now. And also, I got to make my bed, because part of the reason why I did this stream in the first place is because... My bed is not made. All I'm looking at it right now, it's just a sad, sorry little mattress. All the sheets and stuff I threw into the washing machine for the weekend. Um, but yeah, I gotta go make my bed now. But alright. But that is all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely night, and I hope to see you all again soon. Alright, bye bye and have a lovely night, and sweet dreams. Alright, bye bye